This is Andrew James, your Canadian brother, bringing you another episode of Final Fantasy VII, The Big 20. Let's have fun. Hey, oh folks, this is Andrew James, your Canadian brother, gaming for you, even if you don't want me to. Coming at you with yet another episode of Final Fantasy VII. We had just finished our battle with Rude and Reno here in Gongaga, and, uh, yeah, we'll head on back. We still got some things to do. We were just running out of time. Ooh. Ain't that... Ooh, excuse me. Ain't that a sight to see. Ooh. Now, most people think that it's just a junk pile, but it is story-related, and there is something fun here. Big Spiral. Hmm. Can you do it, Cloud? Can you do it? Shaw, wait. Ooh, nice shot. Yeah, Clemazard. That would be Cloud's level 2 to his level 2. A ruined reactor. Uh oh. It's Scarlet had a general weapon development. Hmm. Greatest hiding spot in the world. Not like the hair give you away. Hmm. This isn't good either. You only get junky materia from junky reactors. This reactor is a failure. What I'm looking for is big, large, huge material. You seen any? No, I haven't seen it. I'll get right on it right away. Please, we could m make the ultimate weapon if we only had some. I just can't wait. With Hojo gone, weapon development and getting a bigger budget. I envy them. But even if we make the perfect weapon, does that stupid Heidegger even use it? Oh, sorry, I forgot Heidegger was your boss. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go. Even the Shinra don't like the Shinra. Big, large, huge material. An ultimate weapon? The perfect weapon. Just what are the Shinra up to? Apparently a lot. <laughs> beep, bop, beep, bop, boop, boop. And then you come here. Something shiny in the back. Titan! And that's why we came here. No, this one's loud. Oh, finally, we got Grenade Bomb. That would be Barrett's level 2. Finally. Only well, feels like it's been forever. Alright. That's one little exp area explorer. Now... Ah... Why? A single frog. Who just turned me into a frog. No. Oh, wait a minute. I just thought of something. You... Well, we... Can learn something from those frogs. Deathblow. 
That is like a command critical strike. Double attack. Boom. Boom. Take one of them out. There you go. Manipulate. Oh, sweet. He even used it on the person I wanted him to. And we learned Proxy. Oh, Okay, Seth, you and your big Moogle robot. Got ourselves another enemy skill. Oh yeah. Makes us feel like a million bucks. Hmm. No matter how much I pray, it won't bring our grandson back. A reactor explosion three years ago took my husband. Hmm. A ruined reactor. Hmm, weapon shop. Huh, did you want something? Your story? We voted to outlaw the use of Mako energy and live with nature ever since the explosion. Anything cool? Headband, sleep, darkness, poison, spirit. I kinda want one of those. Automatically puts you in berserk, don't need that. Definitely need one of those, and one of those. Get one, because... Spirit. Alright. Now, here's a tough one. This is actually a ladder. Remember that. Cause here's the weapon shop. Hmm. It looks like more details in this lighting. Neat. Want something? Here's a story. One day, a huge explosion killed many of the townspeople. That's not a story. That's just a statement. Hard edge. Mm, nope. Mm, that's a good one. normal, so I lose my double. Only for two points. Hmm. Boomerang, you're good. Well. Mm. Pick one up for T first in case. Barrett. Harris. Everybody else good. We have a double growth on him right now, so I don't want to get rid of it just yet. Hmm. Uh, need something? Here, start. One day, a huge explosion killed him. We already heard that one. I need a room. Yeah. It's not too bad. Oh, excuse me. Not trying to make too much noise here with my headphones. Just trying to get a little bit more comfortable. Explosion. That it? Yeah, that's it. Just to say, that explosion. We're going to hold on to that. I'm not going to use it. I'm going to teach you guys a little trick later. Hmm. This is Gongaka Village. Many people died here in a Mako reactor explosion. White M phone. Nice. Ooh, it's a double.
Uh, he's almost mastered that already. Earth, that's what he had on him. All right, we'll take the double for now. Oop. Oh, you're here to shop. Your story? It's been a while since the explosion, but you can still find the pieces that's left all over town. And buy items? Hmm. Get one more of those. Two of those. And one more time. Two more times. I don't think there's anything else in here. No. Alright. And oh, yeah. You a traveler? Hey wait, that glow in your eyes. Are you in soldier? Oh, you're right. Don't you know anything about our son? His name is Zach. It's been close to 10 years since he left for the city saying that he didn't want to live in the country. He left saying he was going to join soldier. You ever heard of a Zach and soldier? Um, I don't know. Zach. Zach. I don't know anything about that man, but the name sounds familiar. Why? Have you ever met someone a soldier named Zach? I can't believe he hasn't contacted us in 10 years. After all, we're his parents. Eh. No, no, no. Trying to check your drawers. No. Nothing else. Hmm. Alright. I do believe that concludes Gongaka. Because if there is something else, I'm not exactly aware of it. Buggy. All right. Guess we move on. Hey, ugly. He wasn't so bad. Just to say as well, this is usually the forest where most people find Yuffie. You could also get her earlier on where I got her. But, yeah, just to say. Well. You make me work fast, aren't you? Hey. Well, this is only two out of three. So if you mess up, somebody should live. Peacock. A griffin that uses an attack called Peacock. 
Weird. Level up. Going up around the bend. Now, I'm about to show you guys something that becomes a yell point for some people. Oh. Oh man, a breakdown? No? That's right, a buggy just broke down. Well, I suppose we'll have to go check out this uncharted town. Safety safe. Let's go see, maybe they can help us out. Maybe they got a CAA or something. Hmm, pretty. Cosmo Canyon, what is this place? I'm home. It is I, Nanaki. Hey, Nanaki, you're safe. Come on and say hello to Bugenhagen. Nanaki? Welcome to Cosmo Canyon. Are you familiar with this land? Uh, no. Let me explain. People from all over the world gather here to seek study for, of planet life. Woo! I always want to come here. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. I'm sorry, it's full now, so I can't let you enter. Damn! They helped me when I was on the road. Please let them in. Oh, is that so? You helped her, Nanaki? Please come in. Who is Nanaki? Nanaki is Nanaki. That's his name. Hmm. Welcome to Cosmo Canyons. Make yourselves at home. That is one of the greatest songs to this game. I know for a fact me and my sister have spent hours in this place just listening to that song. Yeah, Nanaki! Nanaki's back! It's all thanks to this flame! This fire is called Cosmo Candle. It has burned for generations. It is only... Is it a holy flame that protects this canyon? I've heard it only went out once, long ago. The other said something horrifying occurred, but I really don't know much else about it. Whoa! Don't scare me like that, I almost fell over. Whoa! Oh, that's it? Okay. Hey yo, looking for anything in particular? Ooh. A couple of those are sure. And I don't think we have access to later. Alright. Sorry. Old habit. Love my tunes. This game is full of them. <laughs> Elder Bulk. Is that so? You brought Nanaki back here. Yeah, thanks. Is that? Alright. Welcome. How about our original cocktail, Cosmo Candle? A drink now, and then it's good for you. It relaxes you a bit if you know when to stop. Is that it? Yep. Alright. Well, door. Interesting little bit. I only found this out just because, well, if you menu right here, we're in Nanaki's room. This is Red's room. Red room. Red room. No, nothing in here. Welcome to Shildra Inn. It'll be a hundred gil a night. Would you like to say? Yes. Have a great dream of the star. 
Awesome. Elixir. Funny enough, for like the longest time that I know of, if you play Final Fantasy and you're in an inn, there's an elixir somewhere in there. Oh. Turtle Paradise, number five. Our cocktails are good, but our wine is the best. Please stop in at Turtle Paradise. Big ladder. Oh. Should have known that. <laughs> Here is where I was born. I mean, this is my hometown. My tribes were protectors of those who appreciate the beautiful canyon and the planet. My brave mother fought and died here, but my cowardly father left her. I am the last of my race. Cowardly father? Yes, my father was a wastrel. And so the mission I inherited from my ancestors is to protect this place. My journey ends here. Hey, Nanaki, you're home. Coming, Grandpa. Good timing. Let's take a breather. I got stuff I want to find out, too. Hmm. Yeah, everybody's spread out. I wonder if anybody showed up over there. No, I think they're all up in the upper section. Armor shop. Weapon shop. Woo! Safety save. Tiger Lily's Weapon Shop. Turtle Paradise Newsletter Number 4. Now hiring. Looking for someone who can stand long hours of boredom. For details, contact the Turtle Paradise. <laughs> oh, welcome. The people of this canyon hate to compete, so I almost everything here are replicas. But that's alright. Some of them you can really use. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Means everything I just bought was kind of just for nothing. Need that. Give me three. Alright. Thirty-nine. Alright. Well, hold on. That double or either way. Alright, so all. Restore. Where did I put it? I know it's around here. That's it? Alright. Hey, stop talking to him. There was this guy who studied planetary life here. He couldn't take things the way they were, so he went to Midgar to form Avalanche. Wanna hear more? Yeah, man. Guess you could say this is where Avalanche was born. I always wanted to come here, and finally, I made it. A lot's happened. And then? And then? I don't know what's going to happen now that there is no avalanche. We are avalanche, man. Don't give up. We're here for you, bear. Mm, da -da. I know that's the way there. Oh, this thing? No. I 
I thought I was reading the note. Nope, 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 nope. Dun, duck, dun, duck, dun, duck, dun, duck, dun. Ah, come on. There's like a, a U around there. Got your change. Mm, yeah, I'm coming. Are you here to shop? Mm, what's your problem? <laughs> oh, is that so? Then let me uh, sleep. That's right. Oh, is that so? You're here to shop? What? Well, I'm sorry. We hardly ever get any customers. Oh, but I do have confidence in our materia. Not enough for them. But if you want to hit, hit match, max HP MP, this is where you get those. Hmm, this place seems like it has a lot of secrets. So when's dinner? Alright, alright, I'm making it right now. But I wonder which one is going to eat. <laughs> I kind of wonder that too. Bogenhagen sells this door shut. How'd he do it? Super glue? <laughs> ah, the viewpoint. I don't think there's anything here. I'm king of the world! <laughs> Boogenhagen. Hello, sir. Cloud, this is my grandfather, Boogen. A buggin. He is incredible. He knows everything. Oh, oh, oh. I hear that you looked after Nanaki. Nanaki is still a child, you see. Please stop, grandfather. I'm 48. Oh, oh, oh. Nanaki's tribe has incredible longevity. So you see, his 48 years would only be equivalent to say that of 15 or 16, an old human reckoning? 15 or 16? He's quite a very... He is quite and very deep. You thought he was an adult? Grandfather, I want to be an adult. I want to grow up to be able to protect you and the village. Ho oh, oh, ho ho! No, Nanaki, you can't stand on your own yet. To do that now would destroy you in the long run. Reaching up into the heavens, threatening to snatch the very stars from the great city of Midgur. You've seen it, haven't you? Well, that's a bad example. Looking up too much makes you lose perspective. Whoop. When it's time for the planet to die, you'll understand that you know absolutely nothing. When the planet dies? Oh, it may be tomorrow or a hundred years from now, but it's not long off. How do you know this? I hear the cries of the planet. What's that? The sound of the stars in the heavens. While this goes on, planets are born and die. What was that? Ho oh, oh, ho ho! That was a scream from the planet. Didn't you hear it? As if to say, I hurt. I suffer. They have come here on a journey to save the planet. Why don't you show them your apparatus? Ho oh, oh, ho ho! To save the planet? Ho oh, oh, ho ho! But then again, I guess it wouldn't hurt to show them. Bogenhagen. Several odd-looking people are here. The whole place has gotten busy all of a sudden. He brought friends, too. I'll go get them. Hmm. Cloud, please call one of them. Only three people can fit in my grandfather's machine. Oh, only three people can fit in my grandfather's machine. Don't worry, my machine won't run away. Go and invite your friends. Hmm. Hmm. 
we're gonna hang in with. I don't know, he's a neat little NPC. Bum, 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 bum. Uh, we gotta think of who we're gonna invite. I'm not really sure who to invite. We'll have to invite somebody, but we'll have to do it on the next episode. Because for now, we're going to have to give ourselves a save. Because we're starting to run out of time. As much as I don't like it, i got to leave you guys here. And we'll have to continue on on the next one. But know this, we're not giving up yet. We've got a plan to save and things to learn. So until the next one, this is Andrew James. Your Canadian brother, gaming for you even if you don't want me to. Take care, all. I love y'all. And have a good one. This has been your Canadian brother's Andrew James, gaming for you even if you don't want me to. Please like, subscribe if you like what you saw. It helps a hell of a lot.